Hey guys, Madison here and welcome to the first Film Friday of 2023, a new year. I'm so excited. First of all, I want to say a big thank you for 18,000 subs. What a great way to kick off the new year. Thank you guys so, so much. Quick reminder that there is a big announcement about my debut novel coming. If you're on my Patreon, you've already seen it. But if you are watching this reaction here on YouTube, that announcement is coming tomorrow. So get ready, be there for the premiere. I'll be premiering it tomorrow and I'll be there in the chat. If anyone has any questions about the book, I'm not promising I'll answer everything, but if the question is non-spoilery, I'm very likely to answer it. So be there if you wanna find out when the book is coming out, if you wanna know what the title is, if you wanna see the cover, which I did myself. <laughs> I'm so excited to finally share just anything about it with you guys, a little bit of information. I've been holding it bottled up inside for so long. Uh, so I can't wait to share it with all of you and I hope you'll be there. But now for this week's reaction, I am kicking off the new year with a Western because appropriate for, you know, the book announcement and stuff like that. And also you guys know if you're a longtime subscriber here on the channel that westerns are my favorite. I'm definitely biased. <laughs> and this particular film I've put on the polls several times and it never won. Um, so today I just decided to make an executive decision and watch it. <laughs> I've gotten so many requests for it and I was like, you know what, it's time. It's time to watch Jeremiah Johnson. Um, because like I said, I love Westerns and I also love Robert Redford, so you can't go wrong, right? Um, and I'm just really excited to watch this and yeah, find out what it's all about because I know absolutely nothing other than the title and the starring actor. So without further ado, guys, uh, let's check out Jeremiah Johnson. Johnson. He was looking for a Hawking gun, a 50 caliber or better. He settled for a 30, but damn, it was a genuine Hawking. Just where is it I could find bear, beaver, and other critters worth cash money when skinned? Ride due west as the sun sets. The trail was wide and narrow. The eagle or the sparrow showed the path. Jeremiah's story was that kind. This is not going to go the way that, that I think, huh? Beautiful. more fish than you do. <laughs> Gosh, man, get some gloves. Make some. Gonna get frostbite. Kill a deer and make you some buckskin gloves. That'll do. of sound mind and broke legs do hereby leaveth my bar rifle and kilt the bar that kilt me anyway i am dead ha <laughs> a 50 caliber hawken got it Oh, 
Where are you? You're a fine target, Pilgrim. Empty your hands. Oh, this man, he is seasoned. In two months. I'm you the way of the mountain man. I am man. Claw Chris Lapp. How come you ain't been scalped? <laughs> How should be? Go in, get warm, get yourself something to eat. I've got a chore to finish. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what? Skin that pilgrim, and I'll get you another. <laughs> If I head due west tomorrow, will I find good places to trap? You ain't likely to meet up with someone of my good nature. Ugh, the scenery. Utes and flatheads are generally peaceful critters. Full-time night woman? Walk. Yeah. I never could find no tracks in a woman's heart. A woman's breast is the hardest rock that the Almighty ever made on this earth. And I can find no sign on it. You track well, Pilgrim. Kind of like it, don't you? Maybe. But he'll just run as soon as we step out of these trees. Trick to it. Walk out on this side of your horse. Oh, you damn fool. Slide her up over the saddle. <laughs> We got us an elk to skin. <sighs> Can't cheat the mountain, Pilgrim. Mountain got it. If they catch us, they'll steal our horses unless we bribe them. Why? It's their territory. They figure we're trespassers. Stand still. Piwa, he tossed a hushy sheesh. Do you know each other? I seen him once. What do you see, hubby? Says you fish poorly. What's it you was like? Says he's got enough bear claws. That's a gill. What's your name? Your Christian name. Jeremiah. You've learned well, Pilgrim. We'll go far. Providing you ain't burnt alive for a scalp. I will do my best. Mule is carrying so much. <laughs> no. Woman, I am your friend. We have graves to dig. Shall we gather at the river? Who killed him? Was it Indians or was it a bear? It looked like arrows or gunshot wounds. Actually, it looked like one of them might have been scalped. But why was she left alive? Oh, yeah, there's an arrow. Uh, oh. Boy, did you see all this? I could not find your husband anywhere, ma'am. So maybe he will come back here. The Indians will not bother you now on account of you are touched. They will be afraid. What about the boy? I assumed her husband was one of the dead people. Ah, uh, maybe you and the boy best come with me now. Take him. What? Take him. Ma'am, I wouldn't know how to tend after it. You got a name, boy. I will call you Caleb. It is a name I've always admired. Unfortunate. 
Are you all right? Sure, sure. I got a fine horse under me. Haven't seen anyone pass by recent, have you? Nobody's gone in front of me. <clears throat> Can't say what's happened behind me, though. How long since they've been through? Not more than a few hours ago. I sure would be happy to see my horse again. I hate walking. I wouldn't leave a man without a horse or gun. I found him, rose to a tree. Damn. He was living with a female panther. Two years in a cave up in the mussel shell. She never did get used to him. Hi. Right. No. Stay here with the animals. No! I am devil too! I die! You skin-headed son of a bitch, you almost got me killed! Where are you going? Don't you want any of these? No. No boy. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Yes, if you were the great warrior who avenges the crazy woman in the Wolf Tail Valley. Well, how did you... I didn't know there was going to be flatheads. Says the scalps are fierce and the horses are fleet. Take them and the ponies. He brought us here to honor you, and you wouldn't give him a gift. If he cannot give you a better one, it will be an insult. He has thought of a better gift to give you. His daughter. Huh? Now you have a son, you need a wife. If you value your hair, you will get married. Oh my gosh. Well, I sort of called it. It's not a crow woman, but is is an Indian woman. You say she's called the Swan, but she'll answer to anything you want. You turn down this gift, they'll slit you, me, Caleb, and the horses from crotch to eyeball. It's gonna be bad if they can't communicate. I assume she doesn't speak English. He doesn't seem to know French. <laughs> hey! Bye, Jeremiah Johnson. Where are you going? I wouldn't want to disturb your wedding night. <laughs> He's like, and somehow, suddenly, I'm married. <laughs> Do you speak any English? I don't speak no flathead, you know. Yeah, he's got two people he can't talk to. <laughs> you wondering about something? Go ahead, ask. Go on, boy. Neat. It's good for you. Get your little clue. Keg seeking me at the vacuum yet, say. You religious, too? Yes. Mm. Yep. Not gonna harm you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Ah. That is all you need to know for now. This weren't my idea, you know. Lord. Is that kid riding bareback this whole time? That would be so painful. Someone who's ridden bareback, I can tell you, it would not be comfortable for long periods of time. <laughs> Finally know the origin of the meme. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> this would be a good place to live.
I wish you would see fit to stop the practicing of these religious ceremonies. Take notice of where we lay those traps and go fetch some proper food. He's not even pretending to like it anymore. Be going for Buffalo soon. No, you'll stay here. Uh. Chin yo yo. Pretty nice, actually. It's like Bear Claw before him. It will keep me warm in a strong wind. And the rain will not pass through, neither. They're sweet. They better not. <laughs> break up this happy family. <sighs> I'm still worried about that opening song, like, this is not going to go the way you think. <laughs> I hope there's not a bear. Oh, wolves. <laughs> quickly. <sighs> Did he even get back with the buffalo that he shot? What's happened to your face? Question him. My beard. Shall we equal pulse? Well, hell, don't run off. It's me. <laughs> it's like hockey, but with... <laughs> it's like hockey, but no ice. Lieutenant Morvay, 3rd Cavalry. We've been watched ever since we started the climb up from the Gila. It's been a long time. <laughs> Since I had so much of the English language spoke at me, <laughs> I ain't used to it. We have wagons there, three of them, uh, broke down in the snow and ice. We've got to get them out of there before they freeze. Or the Indians get them. These are Christian families, Johnson. Christian women and children, starving. mile or so. Johnson, those people are down there waiting for us. Now they are freezing and hungry and scared. What would happen, Johnson? I don't know. This is big medicine. They guard this place with spirits. Well, thanks all the same, Johnson, but we're riding through. And cue the Indian attack later. Tell your men to keep behind me in single file. Intermission? This is interesting how this is structured, opening with an overture and all that. Those Indians are going to be mad. And then that could totally derail their attempt to rescue the people freezing and starving at the wagons because if the Indians attack, they're going to get killed. So <laughs> their impatience is going to come back to bite them in the butt. It's always that one guy. Well, we seem to have escaped. Too soon to say that, bud. Johnson, I can't thank Better you. Better move enough. them out fast. Crow don't take kindly to trespassing. worried about his family. Please, Lord. <laughs> Our 
Are you freaking kidding me? God, I was afraid of that. No. Is it too much to ask for him to just be happy? Is it too much? He saves those families and loses his. like this. Told y'all I was afraid of that. he killed. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Leave this man alone. Dale? Where are you headed? Same place you are, Jeremiah. Hell, in the end. All them Indians after you, I cannot brag about your choice of campsites. <laughs> you got old and scary since you growed hair in your head? Ever happened to that boy? One that didn't talk much. She wore no trouble. Best go down to a town. Get out of these mountains. You don't get in too much trouble with all that hair. Which way are you headed, Jeremiah? Canada, maybe. Well, my common sense tells me the Andes is foothills. house. You gonna tell her that her other son died too? Right here, mister. <laughs> Where's the crazy woman? She's gone. Gone where? Dead. What are you gonna do? You're him. Ain't you? Yeah, might early, ain't they? It ain't a grave like the other. Some say you're dead, count of this. Others say you never will be, count of this. It won't save anything. Sending them out to hide in a corn crib. He's really become Bear Claw, hasn't he? That hat and everything. Is that Bear Claw? That looks like his horse. What's on the spit? Grown particular. 
Would you happen to know what month of the year it is? No, I, I truly wouldn't. I'm sorry, Pilgrim. March. Maybe April. You have done well to keep so much hair when so many's after it. I hope you will fare well. A man will always wonder where the fair wind blows. And some folks say he's up there still. That was so good. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Wow, that, that was just fantastic epitome of uh, a good western and <clears throat> you didn't have to have any uh, cowboys or outlaws or anything like that in this story just a simple story of a mountain man uh, trying to make his way in a, a harsh and unforgiving environment trying to survive starting a family and then losing it and pushing on to survive having a feud with the crow and literally fighting to survive every moment because you never know when one's gonna pop out run out from a tree attack you i mean he had to be living on his toes there at the end um gosh Woo. and then you know i guess him and him and the chief are finally saying peace at the end no more <sighs> you know i want to say in in a world and a time where so many movie trailers I see are all CGI and it's hard to find a shot where anything is real and it's just actors in a completely unreal environment or sometimes the actors, you can't even see the actors, it's just a CGI double of them, CG, a digital form of them. Um, I cannot express my appreciation enough for the tangible in film and films that are shot on location will survive. They will survive more than the films that are completely digitally created environments because those effects can be dated. We're going to look back on those in 10 years, 15 years and go, man, that looks fake now man that doesn't look very good i can tell that's not real that doesn't happen with these it's never going to happen with these because they shot them on location you cannot digitally recreate the views that i was seeing in this film it was incredible those mountain vistas just it it brings a level of authenticity to the film that you cannot get any other way. And I'm sorry, but if you're shooting something like a Western these days and it, you're not on location for at least the majority of it, that's lazy. I'm sorry, but it's lazy. Go on location. <laughs> You'll save money in the, in the VFX department. You don't have to create all that. I, I understand you can't do everything on location, but as much as you possibly can, do it because it is worth it and it, I get so immersed because I know that it's real <laughs> and they're there. Um, God, that was just such a wonderful film. I'm like teary because it was, the score was fantastic. I loved the music and like the, the old school like narration storytelling throughout, like this is the story of this mountain man. Um, I loved the whole vibe of it, man. It was just hardcore when it was like <laughs> the montage of him surviving Indian attack after Indian attack and just, it was sad seeing him get hardened in that way, but it was just really cool too. <laughs> like um, when you compare it to his earlier self when his friend was wanting to go in and kill the Indians, scalp the Indians, and he was like, no, we can just go in and sneak in and steal, you know, get or recover the horses, get the horses back. We don't have to kill them. But then later, after he's experienced this terrible misfortune at the hands of the crow, he is like, 
he's not like that anymore. He wants revenge and revenge is a, t a double edged sword because you get your revenge, you kill those guys and then you make them mad and they keep coming after you and keep coming after you. Who knows if they would have done that anyway because they were mad about him going through the burial grounds. But I think they would have, I think that them killing his wife and the kid was their revenge. I think they would have left him alone after that. That was them settling the score if he had not gone after them and taken revenge. Um, so then the vicious cycle just continues and continues. Um, God, I love Robert Redford. I just, I love him. He's so great. And this is probably now my favorite film of his that I have seen. I just really cared about Jeremiah. I was really invested in him and his story, what was going to happen next to him. I got so invested in his, his new family. And then having them taken away just ripped my heart out. I mean, it's really a, a sad and tragic film, but it's also watching a man follow the, the calling inside him, the call of the wild, if you will. He is, he, he had this call to go into the mountains. It was in his being to go into the wilderness and live this simple life away from towns, away from civilization. And even the brutality of it and losing his family could not drive him away from that lifestyle. That was who he was. And so even though it's tragic, him losing his family did not want that to happen. It was, it's not sad in that you're watching him fulfill like this thing inside him. Like he's living true to himself and what he wants to do and what what is fulfilling for him, what is meaningful for him. He is still on that path um, and he's going to accept a way of peace now. He may not be a man of violence anymore. And um, so that part of the story is fulfilling for him as a character. This is who he is. This is the life he has chosen and he is going to live that way until he dies. Um, He's a very consistent character. Like there wasn't a lot of change. He was who he was. He grew in his skills as a mountain man. He started off having no idea what he was doing and he grew in his skills. He, um, he did for a while fulfill that desire of having a woman, having a family, but then that was taken from him. So it makes you wonder if he'll ever do that again, if he'll ever find another wife, find love again. Um, but as a character, his traits, his personality, he was always very consistent, but he got hardened when he lost his family. And again, going on that vengeful streak, I think maybe now he's moved past that stage. And again, that last scene, that last shot was very meaningful of like finding peace, maybe accepting peace. And he really became more, even more like Bear Claw than I wanted him to be because he is alone. Um, and I, I wanted him to have that family and that, that joy and that happiness, but, you know, maybe he's okay with being alone, at least for now. Um, gosh, I just, I loved, I loved everything about that movie except him losing his family. That just uh, ripped my heart out and uh, it all happened because of that, the army coming in and making him go save those other people and then he loses his. I just... And they made him go through that burial ground. He was going to go around it and they just made him lose everything. But my goodness, I am, oh, I could talk about this movie for a while, but I am so glad that I watched it to say the least. Um, beautiful, immersive, uh, heart-wrenching, fun. I just, I loved everything about it. Um, fantastic. So so glad I watched it, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction, enjoyed kicking the new year off with a wonderful Western, a classic Western, um, and uh, I will see you guys next week for the next Film Friday, and don't forget, if you're interested, premiering tomorrow on my channel, my announcement about my debut novel, 
title, release date, cover. If you want to see any of that stuff, you want to be there for it, you want to ask me any questions in the chat, be there and I will see you guys then. If you want to see my full length reaction to this movie, head on over to my Patreon, patreon.com slash madisonktames. And if you want to hear the book announcement now and you do not want to wait until tomorrow, head over to my Patreon and you can find it there right now. Thanks again guys for watching and I will see you next week.